What's up, everybody? Hope you are doing well. A few weeks ago, I shared some banglu with you all, and it was in the realm of Mong Chonggu, traditional Hmong weddings. These were sayings that Mekgongs would say to one another. So today, I'm going to continue along that path, and what I'll do is I'll translate these sayings into English, and then we'll dive into the meaning of these words and how these words were derived. So last time, I shared about what the Mekgong from the groom's side would say to the Mekgong from the bride's side, and then also what the bride's side would say in response. Today, the one I'll be talking about is the one where the Mekong from the groom side will be saying to the Mekong on the bright side. So as a reminder, there's usually Seng Deo, rounds of toast that they would normally do. This is the one where I shared with you last time in Mong Leng no ke puhu Seng Deo to ko le shi mong tlou no ke mori jia, Seng ke mori jia. So this is what the Mekong on the groom side would say to the Mekong on the bright side of the family. O chao ne ma gui luo. Thank you, companion. Thank you, friend. Law, the word law in Hmong means like um, companion, let's see, friendship. Think about when we were younger, when we uh, go camping, you know, it's so scary. At night, you just you're like, oh, you you know, law means like companionship or friendship or friend, uh, someone to just tug along with you. So good law is like the Mekong, when they when they work together at the traditional Hmong ceremonies, they're basically companion. They work with each other. They don't leave each other's sight. Lota na to uke mo tu to mo nyang. It is said that parents of the groom side has a son who's here to get married. They don't even follow the traditional customs and practices. Kanke again, it means like practices or traditional practices, traditional customs or traditional rules that are within the culture. Even though they're here, the parents of the bride side are preparing their daughter for marriage. Taiko means like to separate, to marry this daughter off into another family. So if you ever go to a traditional Hmong wedding and you hear a mon taiko, that's basically what they're talking about is this family is preparing their daughter for marriage or to separate from this family to be with another family. Nu jing mo zhu zhao niao zhu. Now this part is tricky. Nu jing mo zhu zhao niao zhu. Zhu means to step. But you have to understand that what they're talking about here is stepping on tracks. Means they've stopped, they stepped and they follow the tracks that's been laid. This part is the part where you have to understand the historical context, or not just that, this is where they draw from the Hmong folklore, the Hmong folktale. Um, the story of the brother and sister who took refuge in a large barrel, the the big drum. Uh, during the flood. So if you don't know that story, that folktale, go go read it up, go research it, or ask your parents, they'll tell you about it. La Li Jumi, La Li is the, the boy, Jumi is the girl, the brother and the sister. Yong Yong La Li Jumi Kuo Tian Zhu means they followed according to what La Li and Jumi already have learned. So the family followed these tracks traditionally as laid by La Li Jumi. O Ning Zhao Nyo Ning Yong Yong La Li Jumi Kuo Ku Bing Mo Ning Zhao Nyo Ning Ning, what they're talking about is not like a like a bone arrow Tuo Ning Biao Ning, they're talking about is Ning Te Footsteps or footprints Mo Ning Zhao Nyo Ning, they follow again the footsteps that La Li Jumi has set Mo Ning Zhao Nyo Ning, they follow the footsteps La Li Jumi Kuo Ku Bing that La Li Jumi has already established Bing means like to create or something that's already been established and saved so Yong Yang La Li Jun Mi Kuo Ku Bing means um, they followed and they mimic according to what La Li Jun Mi already has established. Ni Chu O Mo Ka Mo Ke Ta Na Zi Ta U. They faithfully followed the traditional customs and practices to await the parents and party of the groom side. Wo Nia Zhe Na Nia Zhe Hao Wei to sit and to have a meal. Thank you for the food, thank you for the beverages, the drinks, thank you for the overall meal. So again, this is what the Mekong from the groom side of the family would say to the Mekong from the bright side of the family. Thanking them for this meal that they've prepared for them faithfully and following the traditional roles and traditional customs or practices that has been established and set forth by Lali and Jumi. All right. So hope that makes sense. Stay tuned for more. The next one I'll be translating is the Bang Lu that the bride side of the family, uh, Mei Gong, would say to the Mei Gong of the groom side of the family. As always, take care. Be well. Stay tuned. Ma Xing Peace out.